I'll now be joined by the head coach of the Musselman, Lady Appleman, Tim Potter. Coach Potter, how are you doing today? I'm really good. How about yourself? Doing all right. Your team making the trip down to Charleston yesterday, and we'll be playing tonight against George Washington, the number one ranked team. But first, let's just soak it all up from the regional final. Your team defeating Martinsburg at Martinsburg the second time this year. Now for the first time in program history, you guys are headed down to Charleston for tonight's contest. Just walk us through that game against Martinsburg and what in your mind was the difference as to why you guys got the win? Well, Martinsburg's a very good team, very disciplined. Coach Fitzpatrick's done an amazing job with them. So we knew coming in, I mean, that they were undefeated in conference play other than we beat them in a thriller by two. So we knew they were going to be very tough, especially going in their building. Um, but our, our girls were pretty prepped. They knew it was on the line. They knew we've had a lot of success. We believed in each other from day one. Uh, they knew this was the game that we had to lock in and get everything we had. And uh, and we did that. We, we played really well. It was a great hard-fought win. We, we had a big resurgence of energy in the second half and to be honest with you where it all came from is the defensive end that's what's kind of been our staple all year long is that kind of been defense and energy has been what's carried us to get to this point and the offense just kind of feeds off of that coach we talked about it the other night uh obviously an emotional win for you and the program to get to this point uh to take this team to charleston um just what do you think this means for Musselman girls basketball and the school in general? Oh, it means a lot. It's been a long time coming for this school and program. Uh, I mean, this school's been around a long time, and I know that it, it just means a whole lot. And looking into the future, this sets the tone for, for almost a new era, so to speak. You know, this is year one, me coming in and the coaching staff doing some things, and, and really it means a lot because it's a great starting point to hopefully make this – we're hoping a new norm and be in that mix, be competitive, be a team to get our name out there and we're not be a team anymore that teams just think they can walk through. Hey, Coach, how's it going? Dylan here. So you guys are going up against George Washington here tonight. What have you seen on film or just heard from them in general when it comes to the year, in gen- uh, the year overall, when it comes to matching up against them and – you know, trying to take them down. Well, they're very, very good, very well coached. They're very athletic. They've got two Division One kids. One's already signed with uh, UNC Wilmington. I believe they're very tough. Um, they haven't lost to any teams in West Virginia this year, so we already know that it's going to be a tall task and be a, a very t- big challenge for us. But um, with that being said, the pace they play is fast, which I think and on a positive note helps us because we like to play the same style. So that could be good. Um, I'm really curious to watch how the matchups go because we have some athletic kids as well. Um, but we're going to have to slow them down a little bit on that offensive end. And the biggest thing for us is, is we have to take care of the basketball. There's been times that we'll sometimes rush things and turn the ball over carelessly. Those things can't happen tonight if we're going to have a chance. I think if we can do that, we can definitely make some things interesting. <laughs> Coach Potter, you guys made the trip down to Charleston yesterday. What have you guys been doing to prepare for uh, tonight's game so far? Well, watch film, break them down, see what they do, see what they see what their strengths are, maybe some things they struggled in. Um, we had a good practice yesterday before the send-off that we got in before uh, the bus left, and then we had one this morning as well. We were able to get to – South Charleston Rec Center, get some shots, have a little mini practice to kind of get prepped, um, and just go through the little things. You know, I think sometimes it's a big stage, it's new, and we get so fixated on the big picture that sometimes it's the small things that are going to win you the games, the fundamentals, getting the rebound, boxing out. Um, Just looking at those and focusing on one play at a time, those are the things that are going to be key if we want to be competitive and make an upset here, and I think that's what we got to focus on. Don't get overwhelmed by the bright lights and all that. I know that's easier said than done because this is territory they've never been before and all that. But if you focus on the little things, I really think that can go a long way. You talk about you know not trying to, I guess, overwhelm 
get overwhelmed by those big lights. And a lot of the times we've had the boys coaches on when they talk about going to Charleston and, and, and the girls teams as well. But just talking about how playing in that arena is a lot different than playing in a high school gym. Has there been anything that you've done to try to prepare for that? Or do you think while it is a difference and it is something that you're aware of, you don't want to overstate it? Right. Yeah. I don't want to overstate it. That's right. I haven't beat it, you know, constantly, but we have talked about the differences and it's little things like the, you know, how the rims are, how, you know, you have media timeouts, you have, you know, the way the handshake at the beginning is different. A lot of things like that, the interviews, all that stuff. I've mentally prepped them on how things go, the differences, and kind of give let them visualize how it is, kind of try to re- reenact it in our little practices here. Um, but like you said, sometimes at the end of the day, it, it's no matter the circumstances, you got to come out there and do what got you here and just go out there and play and do your best. Coach, obviously this is a little different than – the the normal road trip what have you been doing with your team to make sure that they stay focused stay in the right mindset outside of just you know talking about basketball and you know practice and film shoot around and all those things what are you doing in charleston to make sure that your your team stays uh on the right track as you lead up to this game well i think the first thing goes with having a mapped out schedule so i've had a, a little timeline here of hey we're doing this this hour we're doing this that hour there's times like last night we had like a team dinner where we got to enjoy ourselves taking the scene you know right now actually they're inside the coliseum watching doing some scouting with morgantown green by our east we had our practice where we focused there so there's kind of downtime but there's also basketball prep time mentally and we had the part where we got the practice in to actually apply it so i think it's just having kind of staying busy with the schedule not just kind of winging it and lying around and it just show up Coach, your team already at the uh, convention center in Coliseum in Charleston watching this first game between Greenbrier East and Morgantown. How much has it helped getting that second game, being able to go into that arena already and kind of take the environment in? And what was that reaction truly like for you and for your team realizing that the moment and the opportunity is finally here? Oh, it's fantastic. It, everybody's excited. The girls smiling, taking it in. And I think it's big because you get – it is good to see some games firsthand, especially when it's a quad A team that, you know, potentially that would be who us for GW would play second round. So it's really cool to see how it all unfolds, watch how the game's played, get some scouting. And so I think it is good to kind of sit back and take that in and see how it goes instead of being the first game where you're kind of just thrown out there for the first time in program history. <laughs> Coach, I know you've been with the both programs, I believe, the girls and the boys programs. You played at Musselman. Have you been to the state tournament before, or is this new for you as well? Actually, yes. As a player, I was a sophomore. The uh, Coach Basile's first trip ever to the to the tournament. I was on that team. Um, so yeah, I've been here. It's real. I remember it to a T. The experience was nothing like it. You'll never forget it. Um, and yeah, I was with the boys. And actually, I was with George Goss for one year when I was on that staff when we made states as an assistant coach. Um, but this is really exciting as a head coach being the first time coming in here. I mean, I'm blown away on year one coming into the program. We, you know, we did a lot of big things regular season just to put icing on the cake. We're in the, you know, the final eight. We have a chance to try to make a run and compete. There's nothing to lose. It's just really exciting, man. I'm really enjoying it. I'm so happy for the girls. And coach, with that experience that you've had. Uh, being the, there before, how did that help you, I guess, then prepare your team for this experience? Well, I think it, it's prepped me as well, for sure. Just seeing, again, seeing what it's like, kind of have an idea how things are. Um, that way I don't get too shell-shocked. Um, but, yeah, I, I think just having that, being here a couple times and as a player, I can kind of speak to these girls from experience what it's like, and, and I think that helps a lot. Coach, we just we just talked to Rasan Edwards before we got you on the phone. I just that's a question that I had for him that I was also curious about. That's a long road trip down to Charleston. How how do you pass the time on the on, on those road trips? Yeah, we I had them dialed in, trying to watch some game film, kind of join as a team. And um, you're right, it's a long trip. So I tried, like I said earlier, kind of have a kind of a strict schedule to an extent, and. Uh, 
just have them busy and, and just prep in different ways. And also, at the same time, enjoy themselves because this is a really special moment. It's, it's tough. I mean, there's people that don't get that opportunity to ever come to the state tournament. So this is something I want them to take in as well and have fun, not just a straight-up business trip at the same time. Coach, what is the ultimate message to your team tonight before they take the floor for the game? Um, first of all, we're going to talk about the success and what we've done this season to get to this point, how it's the little things, the belief when no one else thought that they could do it or we could do it, and we just continue to make history for our school and keep playing hard. So I think it's important to let them be reminded of that. And also – just go out there, have fun, and try your best. There's absolutely nothing to lose here. So I think it's really exciting for them. Um, I think it's a great opportunity to compete against the best. And, and why not just give another run, right? You're already here. Well, Coach, thank you for your time. Again, congrats on uh, winning the region, and we wish you the best of luck in the state tournament. Absolutely. Thank you.